five times a day. Over a billion Muslims bow down and pray toward Mecca, their holy city. This has never been questioned for a thousand years, until now. Writer and historian Dan Gibson reveals how descriptions of Muhammad's original city detailed in the Quran and Islamic histories just do not match that of Mecca today. I first came to Arabia in my early 20s, and I've spent more than 30 years exploring every corner of this amazing part of the world. Years of study have led me to the conclusion that Islam began somewhere other than where the conventional histories suppose, and that in early Islamic writings there are clues and references that reveal the hidden truth about the Mecca mystery. In Mecca, developers are digging and putting up vast buildings, but to the surprise of archaeologists, there are no ruins of that great and ancient city. Did you know that the name Mecca does not appear in any literature prior to 740 AD? That's 120 years after the founding of Islam. Today, mosques face Mecca. But this was not the case in the earliest of times, when it was thought that they all pointed to Jerusalem. However, groundbreaking technology allows us to align where the very earliest mosques point to on the map. And it all points to one place, but it isn't where Islam expects it to be. In this film, we will locate the original Mecca, but can we identify the major features mentioned in the Quran and understand how such a great mistake came about? Can we find the original mountains of Marwa and Safa, and the watercourse where Muhammad used to run? or the marker stones that set the boundary to the forbidden gathering place, or the temple of Dushiera. Can we find the fertile soil tilled by the father of Muhammad, or the trees and vineyards? It's all here, including the cave where Muhammad received his first revelation. I think that this is one of the holiest spots for all of Islam. We will discover how the earliest Islamic empires burned not just the libraries of the West, but even their own writings. And only five or six copies of the Quran existed and all those millions of square kilometers. Amazing evidence backing this up is all to be found in Islamic history. Is it possible that over a billion followers of Islam are in error in understanding how and where their religion began? And what implications does this evidence have?